Hi guys, my name is Hope Szymanski with Digifox and today we're going to be talking about APR versus APY. So these terms sound very, very familiar and also really similar. What's the difference? Let's talk about APR first. APR or annual percentage rate is basically telling you what at what rate your money is earning interest on a yearly basis. So basically, um, depending on how often you're getting payouts on your interest, let's say you're earning 10% interest and you get paid out weekly, just like you can in Celsius and USDC on Digibox. Every week, you're gonna earn the rate of 10% interest over a year, every single week. So you're not earning 10% on your savings every single week, because that is an annual percentage you're earning at that rate every single week. The thing is, is that APR does not take into account compound interest because you would think if you invested $100 for a year, at the end of the year, you would have $100 plus that $10 of interest, $110. But that's actually not the case. And that's where APY comes into play. So that leads into APY. APY is annual percentage yield, and it takes into account compound interest. Every week when you get paid on that APR rate, that 10% interest rate, that percentage of interest that gets, that gets paid to you gets added to your principal, to the original amount, and then you earn the APR rate on that new total. So basically, it's gonna go up really, really slowly and then really, really fast as compound interest takes into effect. So basically, when both rates are shown, they're basically just two different ways to show you sort of the same thing. It's just looking at the same interest rate through different lenses. Hope that clears things up for you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us in-app or at digifox.finance and we would be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for listening today. I'm Hope Smansky with Digifox and we will see you all in the next video. Bye.